Okay, for this portion of the JSM features series, uh, we're actually going to be talking about another application that Atlassian supports called Status Page. <clears throat> and essentially, Status Page is your one stop shop for your customers to come check on you know, any outages that are going on with different systems that you might support. Uh, so in this example, uh, this is kind of the customer facing screen that we'd see. Uh, so our customers would come to this status page and see if they've, you know, if they're experiencing an issue, they'll get updates on those outages and see if other people are having those same issues. So the structure of it's gonna be, any active incidents are gonna be um, shown in this top area. And I have my status page integrated with both Jira service management, my Jira service management instance, as well as with Ops Genie, which is uh, Atlassian's incident management tool, uh, an alert monitoring tool. Any active incidents, again, are going to show up up here in all those uh, nitty gritty details of updates, investigations, uh, issues being identified are going to show up here as well, as well as any of the components or services that uh, this incident affects. As we get down here, we can see um, you know, our ongoing uptime over the past 90 days of each of these services. These are just a few demo services that we have, for example, our Atlassian tools. Uh, and we see that uh, status page calculates that uptime for us. If there's any outages, we can click into these and drill in and see uh, how long those outages have been around, as well as the actual incidents associated to those outages and see any updates on those as well. Lastly, we can take a look from the status page uh, customer view at past incidents. So any incidents that have been raised and closed out, uh, those will show up here as well. There's a number of test incidents that I've uh, raised here. And so I'll quickly just touch on the Ops Genie to status page integration. That's one that we um, implement for our customers a lot. Essentially, if we look at it here, there's a number of rules uh, for alerts created by status page or alerts created by Ops Genie, um, what to do with those different alerts. And so we'll take a look at these ones down here. Essentially, as Ops Genie alerts come in, we can set up different rules, different filtering rules um, to handle those alerts in different ways and display them on our status page. Maybe associate certain alerts with certain components so that that process is automated. If there's a billing alert in Ops Genie, uh, show it as a certain uh, type of status for that same component within status page. So we're constantly keeping our customers updated on those types of things. Um, so for example, we'll look here, essentially if an alert is created in Ops Genie, then we're gonna create an incident in status page and update that components or incident statuses according to tags. Um, and uh, similarly, if that alert is closed out in Ops Genie, we'll resolve that incident in status page. So if you're using Ops Genie as your incident management tool, um, everything is very well integrated as it's all in the Atlassian ecosystem. Uh, and you will see as you uh, seem to, you know, manage your alerts within Ops Genie, those uh, changes are automatically reflected in status page. So quickly, let's just see if we create an incident, let's see how that kind of changes within status page. So we'll just do this service is not working. Um, we'll create that issue and we'll see, you know, it's open. It was just raised. Uh, and then we'll go into our status page demo status uh, customer facing website here. And we'll see that the service is not working. Uh, and we have a little update saying, you know, we're currently looking into this issue, we're investigating this issue. Um, as we work through the workflow on this incident, from the Ops Genie perspective, we see that we, you know, let's say we close out the ticket, uh, we see that that is then updated in status page. That goes away, uh, and it then goes into the past incidents here. So, you know, that's just a really quick view of status pages functionality. Um, and I hope that was helpful.